Mr. Hurd, uh, it talked about you and the CEO and Mr. Hurd meeting weekly. Now, I don't know if you think the sunshine all comes in or not, but what I want to know from you and to him, and we gave them a deadline. Oh, come on, come on. You gave a deadline too. Come on, come on. Uh, we think that public corruption is taking place behind those closed doors. You mentioned the people that you don't do certain things. I want you to come clean and give us. Come on, come on, come on. Let, 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 let him get it over. Please. Please let me get over with But my tax dollars, I want you to understand too. I'm not talking about theirs, I'm talking about mine. Okay, this is, you know. I want, us, I want you to come clean and provide us with the agendas of all those meetings because we think that. Contract steering is going on. We think that uh, we think that micromanagement. Now I want to ask you a question. If Dr. Sanders gives all that money, and you and, and, and you agreed to him having a job, why do you have to meet with him weekly to tell him what he needs to do about his job? Now, now can, can I ask? First of all, you you make assumptions out of illusions, <laughs> and so I, I will I will say to you that. Uh, Dr. Sanders is is not uh, is, is doctor, you know, what you have to do to get to be a PhD. All right. Dr. Eugene Sanders. All right. So he's a very competent man who has uh, has a career not only as a former superintendent of an urban school district, but also has been a professor who teaches the academic side of education. All right, now, so let's, let's just say, so I don't really have to micromanage him, but at the same time, well, what, you know, well, no, 